Nostradamus, the 16th century French astrologer, is still captivating the world with his profound predictions. Nostradamus has predicted earthquakes, famine, war, everything that can wipe out humanity. As his prophecies about global crises and royal upheavals begin to manifest, fear and intrigue grow. His book, The Prophecies, seems to describe disasters that are unfolding now. Living in an age where we will see the fulfillment of the remaining one-third of his prophecies. Echoing his dark foresights. If these ancient warnings are coming true, what else lies ahead? Nostradamus saw all of these things happening, and that's just what he wanted to warn us about, that we were heading down into a terrible time that could destroy the world. Join us to discover the terrible prophecy that is just days away from being fulfilled. The persistent allure of Nostradamus's forecasts. Nostradamus made predictions about the reign of terror, global economic issues, the impact of artificial intelligence, and events involving the British royal family. These predictions are beginning to come true, causing a lot of worry. His accurate foresight makes some see him as a modern-day oracle. He was not just an astrologer, but also a passionate observer of the stars, using his love for celestial bodies to predict events through astrology. His book, The Prophecies, published in 1555, contains 942 predictions written as four-line poems called quatrains. Many interpret these poems as divine messages. These cryptic verses have given significant insights into future events, making many nervous as they seem to describe our current troubled times. Some say that recent political turmoil, unexpected natural disasters, and new pandemics match what Nostradamus predicted. But this isn't the only surprising thing. Who exactly was Nostradamus, and what are these alarming predictions? Nostradamus, born in Saint-Rémy-de-Provence, France, became famous for his ability to foresee major historical events through his mysterious poems. People often wonder how accurate his predictions are, and if they truly show what the future holds. One of his most famous predictions was the Great Fire of London in 1666, where he described a great calamity in London due to a massive fire. Another well-known prediction was the rise of Adolf Hitler, whom he cryptically described as a young child from Western Europe, who would gain power through his speaking skills and form alliances with Eastern powers. This matches Hitler's rise and actions during World War II. Also, he anticipated the French Revolution, speaking of the commoners' uprising and the fall of the nobility, which paralleled the widespread executions during the Revolution, including the use of the guillotine. One of his most striking predictions was the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He described an unprecedented destruction hitting two cities, showing his ability to foresee major disasters. Another of his predictions was the shocking assassination of U.S. President John F. Kennedy. In one of his quatrains, he wrote about a great man struck down in the day. This prophecy also seemed to resonate with the assassination of Robert Kennedy, causing disbelief when it tragically came true. Nostradamus also predicted the death of King Henry II of France. He said the king would die from a wound to the eye during a duel, which came true when the king was fatally injured by the lance of a young nobleman, known as the Young Lion. Nostradamus also foresaw the long and influential reign of Queen Elizabeth II. His prediction about her lengthy rule and significant influence has profoundly impacted the British royal family. His prophecies have not only described historical figures, but also looming threats that stir global anxiety today. But this wasn't the worst part. One of his most ominous visions was the emergence of three figures he called Antichrists. Napoleon, Hitler, and a third yet to come purported to be the worst. His quatrains depict this future tyrant as a bringer of global chaos and destruction. Many fear this prediction aligns with current global tensions and rising authoritarian figures. His verses are filled with dark imagery, foretelling a ruler who spreads discord worldwide, which many see as a sign of catastrophic events to come. Nostradamus's forecasts also include natural and human-made disasters. These predictions strangely align with recent events like political upheavals, the threat of nuclear warfare, and pandemics that have taken the world by surprise. Some people speculate whether the conditions described by Nostradamus, signaling the end times, are unfolding in our current era. In the context of the British royal family, Nostradamus's prophecies are still a cause for concern. 
He touched on various crises within the monarchy, including precise predictions about Queen Elizabeth's lifespan and reign. These predictions spark both intrigue and anxiety, as people wonder about the future stability of this age-old institution. But that's not all. Nostradamus' prophecies continue to be relevant today, affecting how we interpret past events and our current global and political climates. His work stirs a mix of fear and fascination because it seems to mirror the complexities and challenges of our times. People around the world ponder his words, comparing their historical accuracy with unfolding events and question what future his prophecies might still foretell. Next, we'll see how these old predictions about kings and popes might be unfolding today. Illness and Prophecy in the Palace Nostradamus spoke about a king who would lose his throne due to illness, and an unexpected person would take over, ending the monarchy. Today, people are thinking about this prophecy, especially with the health problems of King Charles and the recent news about Kate, Prince William's wife, who was diagnosed with cancer during an abdominal surgery in January. This makes some wonder if Prince Henry could be the next to take the throne, which could change the royal family's history significantly. Many are watching closely to see if this prophecy will come true. Meanwhile, he also made a notable prediction about the Catholic Church's future. He said that Pope Francis, who is both loved and controversial, would end his papacy suddenly, making way for a younger leader. This new pope is expected to bring fresh and sometimes surprising changes to the church, possibly making it more modern and inclusive, and focusing on global issues like the environment over traditional church activities. People are curious about what this new, young pope might do in these challenging times. As the world deals with serious environmental and societal problems, many are revisiting Nostradamus's predictions, which seem to match our current realities. He described a world facing droughts, floods, and famine, suggesting that his old predictions are now mirroring today's environmental crises. These predictions have caught the attention of people all over the world. They are sparking a mix of interest and worry as they seem to align with events affecting both the monarchy and the church. As we watch and wait, there is a sense of both anxiety and anticipation about whether these bold predictions will indeed reshape our current institutions and ways of life. But this isn't the only thing that worries people. There are more layers to Nostradamus' predictions that add to the global concern. For example, his writings also hint at political upheaval and social changes that could further disrupt our world. As more people delve into his prophecies, they find themselves questioning what other parts of his visions might come true. Beyond the monarchy and the church, Nostradamus' predictions touch on many aspects of life, suggesting that the future holds significant changes for everyone. Whether these changes are positive or negative remains to be seen, but the idea that we are living through a time predicted centuries ago adds a layer of mystery and intrigue to our present situation. However, the biggest challenge might still be ahead. Nostradamus also spoke about global conflicts and economic troubles that could bring about major shifts in power and societal structures. These potential changes add to the feeling of uncertainty and make people wonder just how much of Nostradamus's vision will become reality. It's hard not to feel worried as we move closer to a world with severe shortages and environmental crises. Large areas of fertile land are turning into barren wastelands due to relentless droughts. Rivers, swollen from unusual rainfall, are overflowing, flooding communities and destroying homes and farms. The weather has become more extreme, leading to crop failures and unprecedented levels of hunger. As the planet undergoes drastic climate changes, places that once teemed with life and beauty are now scenes of struggle and survival, much like the grim visions Nostradamus once wrote about. These predictions are no longer just words on a page. They are unfolding in real time, highlighting the critical need for sustainable solutions to avert further catastrophe. Nostradamus also spoke of a reign of terror, led by a ruthless leader known as the Great King of Terror. This figure, according to the prophecy, would rise to power and bring about widespread destruction, a reflection of our current era. With global tensions mounting and authoritarian leaders seeking to consolidate power, it feels as though Nostradamus' visions are coming true. As these leaders pursue dominance with little regard for human dignity, the horrors of the past, once confined to history books, now seem like potential future realities. In the realm of finance and economy, Nostradamus's predictions still resonate today. 
He foresaw an era when the cost of basic necessities like wheat would reach sky-high levels, signaling widespread famine and desperation. Now, as inflation spirals and supply chains struggle under unprecedented pressures, these predictions seem all too accurate. The looming threat of economic downturns and a potential global recession echo his warnings about financial instability. Moreover, Nostradamus's bleak forecasts included a time when humanity might face such severe food shortages that people could resort to unthinkable measures for survival. Today, as the cost of living increases and basic goods become unaffordable for many, the specter of social unrest and extreme hardship is more real than ever. And then there's the prophecy about the rise of artificial intelligence. Nostradamus envisioned a time around 2060 when machines would surpass human intelligence. He predicted that this technological revolution would trap humanity, with AI becoming so integrated into our lives that it challenges our very nature. This prophecy paints a future where humans, in their relentless quest for knowledge and power, create machines that could eventually rival human intellect and perhaps control aspects of our lives. But the most troubling part might still be ahead. As we face these challenges, it's crucial to rethink our values and priorities. Are we ready for a future where these prophecies might fully come true? Now, let's see how Nostradamus' space predictions match up with our current efforts to explore the stars. Promise and Peril in the Machine Age The famous seer predicted a time when artificial intelligence, AI, would change our lives in big ways, both good and bad. He warned that as we rely more on machines, our own creativity might suffer, and many jobs could be lost in a world run by technology. Now, as we face this shift, we see AI everywhere. It ranges from algorithms that know what we want before we say it, to robots that move with perfect precision. The seer saw a future of relentless technological progress driven by our curiosity and desire to expand our horizons. He described a world where AI might surpass human abilities, serving as both a source of inspiration and a warning. This vision suggests a future where our creations could become greater than us. He also predicted big breakthroughs in health and medicine. With his medical background and experience with the Black Plague, he foresaw humans living to 150 or 170 years old, thanks to mechanical organs and new healing techniques. These advancements would make traditional organ transplants obsolete and seamlessly integrate prosthetics with human bodies, blurring the lines between organic and artificial. Having seen much suffering, the seer also imagined a future where medicine would conquer disease. His insight suggested that by combining human knowledge with advanced technology, we could even overcome death, leading to an era of great longevity and health. But this wasn't the worst part. The seer didn't just talk about medical advancements. He also warned of terrible natural events caused by human neglect and environmental damage. Recent disease outbreaks in the United States, the return of old illnesses, and environmental disasters make his warnings seem very real today. In places like Lombardy, Italy, the impact of a pandemic is still felt, reminding us of the urgent need to heed these ancient warnings. Nostradamus also predicted natural disasters like huge volcanic eruptions. He mentioned the Yellowstone volcano, suggesting that its eruption could darken the skies, disrupt ecosystems, and change the Earth's landscape drastically. This massive volcano sits inside a huge crater called the caldera. Scientists keep a close watch on it, tracking small changes in the ground and geysers that shoot out steam and water. Recent studies have given us a better look at the magma chamber, a huge pool of molten rock just below the park. This silent giant could wake up one day, showing the immense power of nature. Every small earthquake and burst of steam from the geysers reminds us of the powerful volcano beneath. The idea of a huge eruption has captured public interest with documentaries and articles stressing the importance of understanding this natural wonder. These warnings make us think about how we would handle such a disaster and prepare for nature's unpredictable power. Yellowstone is not just a place of beauty. It's a reminder of the Earth's ability to change suddenly and dramatically. But this wasn't the worst part. The prophet also spoke of dangers from space, like a massive asteroid hitting Earth with terrible force. He imagined the sky going dark as the asteroid approached, followed by destruction that would flatten cities and change landscapes. This event would lead to storms, earthquakes, and fires, reshaping our world. Today, these warnings feel more real, 
Scientists now track asteroids closely, using advanced technology to map their paths. Projects like NASA's DART aim to change the course of asteroids to protect our planet. These efforts show that we take these threats seriously, turning ancient fears into modern actions. Our ability to monitor and possibly stop these threats shows our strengths, but also reminds us of our vulnerabilities. Constantly watching the skies and seeing asteroid impacts in movies remind us to stay alert and invest in protecting our planet. The Prophet also predicted big changes in global power, especially the rise of a strong nation in the East. He saw China as a dragon waking up with big ambitions, spreading its influence worldwide. This rise was seen as a sign of a new world order, with China's growing economic and military power reshaping international relations. Today, China's rise is clear. Its cities are full of tall buildings and busy streets, showing a nation changing quickly and aiming for progress. The prophet's predictions about China highlight how global power is always changing and how the world needs to adapt to these new realities. In the South China Sea, China is working hard to extend its power far beyond its borders. This region, known for its beautiful but disputed waters, has become a hotspot for territorial tensions. Despite earlier promises, China has built up military bases on some islands, clearly visible in satellite images. Nostradamus foresaw such changes, urging us to think about how nations interact globally. Alongside these earthly concerns, he imagined humanity reaching out into space, expanding our understanding of the universe. He predicted a time when humans would discover and communicate with extraterrestrial beings. Such encounters, he suggested, would change our view of reality, blending the physical and spiritual worlds. Today, this idea is not just fantasy. The search for alien life has intensified, with radio telescopes scanning the skies for signals. Scientists and space enthusiasts are eager, thinking about what it would mean to make contact. This mix of excitement and concern reflects Nostradamus's visions, which balance between inspiring advances and daunting challenges. But this wasn't the only intriguing part. Nostradamus also hinted at a significant event involving Mars, a bright light striking the planet, marking a critical moment for humanity. This aligns with current space travel ambitions, especially efforts to colonize Mars. Figures like Elon Musk are pushing the boundaries, making Mars travel a clear goal. His plans echo Nostradamus's prophecy, turning a distant dream into a concrete objective. In the field of space technology, there have been significant advances. Companies in California are developing heavy lift rockets and life support systems for long space missions, turning science fiction into reality. These developments bring us closer to walking on Mars and fulfill ancient predictions about human expansion beyond Earth. While these technological and cosmic advancements unfold, Nostradamus's prophecies continue to fascinate and spark debate. His predictions have often been met with skepticism, yet many find eerie similarities with actual events. From political upheavals to global crises, his words seem relevant today, making us wonder if his forecasts are warnings. As the world faces economic troubles and environmental crises, one might wonder if these are signs of tougher times ahead. Nostradamus's quatrains, once seen as obscure and cryptic, now prompt us to critically examine our times. Are these coincidences, or do his forewarnings hold some truth? As we face an uncertain future, his advice suggests that while we cannot predict every turn, we can certainly prepare. What do you think? Are Nostradamus's predictions mere coincidences, or do they offer real warnings for our future? Like, comment, and subscribe for more.